What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Blue Cell. What a fantastic week it has had, and a sad week that it's had, too. Um, I forget who it was, man. Somebody was talking about it. Um, we were talking on the Discord. I don't know if it was Vito. Might It might have been Vito. It might, might, might have been someone else. I don't know. But this video is inspired by whoever it was I was talking to, um, talking about how, you know, you bought it, or, or you sold it and then it went up and uh, you, you're kind of kicking yourself in the pants. Well, I hope you didn't get too excited here. You know, after all, what do we have if we look at this here? Well, on the daily, we have bearish divergence. We have a double top on a closing basis, especially. I guess we don't have bearish divergence, do we? But we have lower, uh, lower highs in the RSI. We have a very big wick here. We have descending volume with increasing prices. Um, all in all, you know, I think that this is going to promote a move lower. I certainly, you know, up here I was calling for a move that was around like nine cents, ten cents, somewhere in there, and we did actually go to a low point of ten cents, basically on the dot. But I was thinking that we'd go lower from there before turning up. But this, this to me, man, it's starting to look like a double top, and with this volume, especially, I think that that's, um, it's not conclusive, but it's very suggestive that we do go lower. And where could we go? Where could we go from from bottom to top here? I guess this top would be the one we want to measure from. Look at that. That 382 is where we bounced off of there. We could go back to the 382. I would I would assume that we go lower. Maybe we go to the sweet spot, but I don't know. At this point, man, I really don't know if we go quite that low. This does look This does look nice. It does, you know, look like you're holding this kind of higher low structure here in this channel, but but overall this volume and this movement upwards, it just it looks like you had and like if you're really, really looking at this thing here, you had a very strong move up, a weaker move up, and an even weaker move up. Each one taking you to highs. That's just like an exhaustive it, – it shows exhaustion from the bullish perspective, right? And you can see it in the RSI too. You are getting higher moves up but lower readings in the RSI all in all. Um, not encouraging to see. You have a high here. And you do have a lower high here and you have a lower high here, but that's not bearish divergence, but it is bearish convergence. So I do think that we go lower. Let me see. I wonder if we go from top to bottom here. Look at that. Rejected the 1272 on the dot and you are back below the 886. I very much would. Whenever you get a move that's like this, how I like to measure it is I like to take now the bottom here to the top here and I would base it off of these extensions, which wouldn't you know it. That 1618 is right in the sweet spot right in the sweet spot of this overall. I'm going to put, put it out on the weekly so it looks a little bit more obvious of this uh, fib here. I know that it seems strange, but just bear with me here, okay? Um, I know there's a lot of lines, but the 618 to 69 of this low to this high, this overall overall range here, okay? The 618 to the 69, the 618 is right here with this one's from the low to high, this 1618 extension. It's right there, right there, right in the midst of this, what I like to call the sweet spot, okay? So it's just right in that range. I do actually, I am starting to think that we could go down below eight cents. Maybe we don't go below seven cents, but around seven cents is what I would expect. And that, that kind of makes sense to me. Um, I'm still very bullish on Luzelle. I think it has great things in store for it, but at the moment, probably some downside to come. The RSI is showing strength, but at the same time, it's kind of like in this downtrend at the moment. Overall kind of uptrend. Let's see, what's the weekly? You could really, man, you could come down. You've been overbought for a while. You could come down to your 50. You could come down below your 50. Still maintain this uptrend in the weekly. Come down a little bit or a lot, however how, how, however you want to look at it in price. Um, I say a little bit, but really down to seven cents would be a 42% drop. And, I, and, and that to me sounds about right. Most crypto is due, at, at least from a TA perspective, I would say most cryptos, most altcoins are due for anything from like a 35% drop to more than a 50% drop or around a 50% drop. So something something that's like right in between that at like 42.5%, that would make sense to me. You know what else goes goes coinciding with that? If we were to go right down here to the 7 cent area, that would just be another higher low. Wonderful to see. Pair that with these higher highs. Nothing moves up in a straight line, especially a coin that has such a low market cap as Bluezell. Um, Multi-hundred million dollar market cap, if I, if I remember correctly. Let me see here. BLZ, USD. No, 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 no. Not USD. Just BLZ. There we go. Um, no, not even a multi-hundred billion dollar, million dollar market cap. It's 52.6. Let's call it 53 million. Um, even at these highs here, that's nice, man. There, there's a lot of room for this thing. It really, it, this, this is one that's right. This is one that could 
1000X. I do plan on buying some. I haven't bought any at the moment. You know, I did have a buy order set uh, just above nine cents. I was talking about canceling it, but I didn't and I, I left it there. Um, but now, now I'm definitely kind of planning on canceling it, man, because I, I think that this is gonna go lower, um, probably to these lows, if not just a little bit below it. What else is down there at that seven cent area? This 123 um, moving average, which you can see here we found support on it before, res support in this area, resistance right here, broke above it, found support, and then off to the races, resistance there. We show respect on this line. <clears throat> you can see it. We've, we've, we've shown respect on it several times. Yes, we've broken above it, disrespected it at times, sure. Um, but there's there's a lot lining up with this near seven cent area, certainly below these lows here. So if you want to be safe, you want to catch it, you don't want to miss your opportunity. Maybe just set. A, and this is not financial advice. This is just what I would do. You know, if I'm if I'm trying to be smart about it, right? Um, maybe set a buy order right at this uh, daily close low or this daily close low, right around like eight cents, something like that. Um, but I personally. You know, I'm not. I'm not gonna try and. I, I am gonna try and quote unquote play this safe, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more greedy with it. Um, people are so afraid to say that. Don't be greedy, blah blah. But it's like, man, I'm. I'm already in some cryptos. This is one that I, I want to try to snag because I think it's gonna do great things. So I, I am gonna be greedy because guess what? It's got a 53, 52 million dollar market cap. It could double from here. It's still got a low market cap. I'll, I would happily buy it if it doubled from here, man. I would. I would. You know, I'd, I'd be sad that I couldn't buy it at this price, but. I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to miss the boat if this thing decides to tear up tomorrow. I wouldn't expect it to, not with the way the price and the R size looking. Um, you came up, man, you, you were in the bullish area of control and you rejected out of it like immediately. Lower highs, lower lows, um, just a fake out. That's what this move was, man. A fake out with lower volume, not encouraging at all to see. Um, you've got bearish divergence here on your four hour and just, yeah, it's, you've been hugging this purple line. Looks like you want to go down. I don't know. That's to me. This is somewhat of like a double top. It looks like it's a wannabe M. It might be a failed M pattern, and by failed, I mean generally with M patterns, your second leg is longer than your first leg, or with W patterns, your second leg is longer than your first leg, right? But a failed W would be where your second leg is shorter. A failed M would be where your second leg is shorter than your first leg, and I, I do expect to see something like that. So, um, all in all not worried. I'm patient, forever patient. That's, that's the name of the game, man. Don't go chasing dragons. You'll get burned. Um, and this thing, man, I think it is a beast of, of its own kind for sure. I do think that it will have a very bullish, um, outcome in this bull market. There's a lot of vault, man, we're on Coinbase, but let's look at this, right? I, this, we, we, it's been a while since we've talked about it, but let's do B, BLZ USDT on Binance here. You can see just how much volume this is the biggest exchange in crypto in the world with the biggest pairing, the USDT pairing, the highest traded pair on the biggest traded exchange, most volume exchange. You got the most volume you've ever seen ever in this thing's uh, existence. There's out of its all time history, which, which we go to, it's also on Binance, BLZ USD on Binance. Um, you've got a lot more history, <coughs> history here. And on this pairing, it looks like you actually have less volume, but if we if we take the volume into account, and I've done this on every video I've talked about it, because I think it's important. I think it's important. In case anybody's missed it, I want to go over it again. Um, sorry if it's repetitive. But here, on a weekly basis, and, and we'll just we'll prove it, right? You can see this is the all-time history for it, um, or at least as far as I could find on TradingView. This candle, the biggest volume was, what is that? That, that, that was 522.297 million, okay? 522 million tokens were traded in this week. It says that we have less volume now, but it wasn't always available on the on the uh, USDT pair. Now it is. Let's go to the USDT pair. It is it is tied to the dollar after all. This candle, the biggest one with the biggest volume, this was 3.27 billion. That's like six times higher. That's like literally six times higher. Just a little bit less, I think, or is it? Just a little bit less, just a little bit, but but over five times as much. Um, and that happened when coming off of these lows, coming off of this like W looking thing right here, right? And just very coming off of the bear cycle lows. Um, this overall kind of like bottom here and bottom here, this like double bottom that we got and making higher highs. It just, I, I think big things are in store for this is what I'm trying to get at. And where where do I think Blue Zell is gonna go ultimately? 
I think if we take this high here, uh, if we take this high here and we go there, let's see, high to low, yeah, our extension would take us at a minimum to $1.41, $1.42 really, to $3.70 potentially even higher and yes potentially even higher is possible i know it sounds crazy but from the current price which again we're at about a 53 million dollar market cap right that would take us to a 10x so that would be 530 million dollars right there that'd be an 11x technically so it'd be 535 million dollars right no no 585 um a 1618 would be a 28x so you're still just you're at a billion dollars a little bit over a billion dollars there um not quite at two i don't even think you'd be at one and a half there but a 100x just to put it in perspective which by the way a 100x for this thing would be 5.26 billion 5 billion 260 million dollars a 100x would take us all the way up to 12 dollars and 80 cents okay is a 100x possible? I think not only is it possible, but I think it's completely likely that we see that. And we can even with that, you know, we're near this 2272 up here. We could go all the way up to that. That would be a 180x. We could see a 1000x in this thing. It's got a $52.6 million market cap. A 1000x would bring it to a $52.6 billion market cap. And that is definitely possible, especially for a crypto that's been around since 2017, 2018, like this thing, man, that's only had higher lows. It did not have higher highs, but it's only had higher lows. It's proven itself in the test of time. And we just saw the most volume in its existence ever on this current cycle coming off of the current cycle lows. Like I am, I'm bullish as hell on this thing, man. I do think that it has a very bright future. Maybe it was, it does a 1000 X. Maybe it does a multi thousand X. That's even possible too. You know, I, I know that sounds crazy. You guys, I know that sounds crazy. Put it in math in, in like physical terms, a hundred dollars turns into a hundred thousand dollars. It sounds nuts, but I've seen it happen before. It can happen before, believe me. Um, and with something like this, man, you want to have a bag that you hold your patient with and you don't sell it too soon, but you definitely want to take your profits. I would suggest layering in and I would suggest layering out too, but my suggestions mean Jack, because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy talking about crypto on his YouTube channel for funsies. Drinking a big gallon of water, kind of like Donald Trump. Like, I don't know, you guys ever seen that? He just, he... Anyways, um, no disrespect to the man. Um, I don't want to get political but he does drink things funny. Anyways, <clears throat> anyways, um, a 1000 X is definitely possible. And if, if not a multi thousand X and if not a 1000 X, a multi hundred X is certainly feasible for this thing. I do. I very much do interpret that. We see deeper extensions. We're at 1280 right now, 12 cents, 12.8 cents right now. I think a price of above $20 by the end of this bull market is completely possible. And where are we going from here in the immediate term? We're going down. So these numbers, these these potential growth numbers, they're only going to grow if you buy at lower prices. That's all. So that's that's really all I have to say for you guys. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. I do think we're going down in the meantime. Um, buy wherever you want. I'm going to move right now. I have a buy order set. I forget where it is. It's like at like 9.6 or maybe it's like 9.7 cents. Maybe it's at 9.2. I forget. I'm going to have to look at it. Um, but I am probably going to move it down to around anywhere from like seven to eight cents, probably closer to like seven and a half cents, honestly, maybe 7.69 cents. That just, just cause, um, yeah, that might be, that might be the move for me. So that would be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace.